Okay, I'ma keep it real with y'all. I did not expect hundreds of comments on my last video when I asked you if you wanted this tutorial. Now, if you're lost as to what I'm talking about, that means you missed my video a couple days ago on how to make your Instagram outfit photos more interesting. And when I showed y'all this picture and how much it surprised people in a really good way and made them laugh and made them comment and made them like a little bit more than usual, you guys requested how to make it happen and how to do the edit for yourself. So in this video, I'm gonna teach you exactly how to do it, both from your phone, Android and Apple app, as well as from a laptop with Photoshop. Oh, I'm a pretty man. Oh, that's a ugly style. Now, if you look to my right, you notice there is no sneaker of the day or boot of the day. However, we do have the laptop of the day. We're gonna get right into this Photoshop edit right now. Now, if you don't have Photoshop, you wanna skip to the phone stuff, go ahead and move forward in the video. But right now, we're doing this. Okay, so first things first, open up your photo in Photoshop. Then I want you to hit that Z key, zoom all the way into your face. Keep tapping until you get right up in there. And then what we're gonna do is use the pen tool to trace around your head. So the pen tool can be accessed by pressing P, the P key on your keyboard. Then you wanna get in here and start tracing around. Now, the pen tool has two types of modes you can use. When you hit the pen tool over here, either use the regular pen tool or you can come down to the curvature pen tool. And since our heads and our hair and our faces are made of curves, this is what I suggest you use, but it depends on what you're more comfortable with, okay? The pen tool does take time to get used to, so starting up here, uh, I'm just gonna start tracing there. I'm going loose, because later you can tighten it up. But right now I'm gonna go, especially around the hair area, I don't like to go too precise, because then I cut out like the natural looking parts. Now that I'm here, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer and see how this pen tool kind of curves for you already. That's why I like this one. You can kind of go peaks and valleys. And when I say peaks and valleys, I mean go like the highest point of every little curve, and then the deepest point, if that makes sense. I'm gonna go here around the beard. And again, my beard's organic, so I don't wanna cut it too, you know what I mean? And maybe I'll just come straight down here. Yeah, there we go, that's good. You get the gist of it. Let me go ahead and fast forward this part. So now you back up, right? So you wanna right click inside the shape you make, and then what you wanna do is make selection. Now this is where you wanna figure out how sharp you want your line. For me, my feather radius is gonna be one. So make sure you match that setting. That's probably a good place to start. Press okay. And then what you wanna do is do command J or control J if you're using a PC, bada bing. And now you have a head that is cut out, ladies and gentlemen. So now that we have the head cut out, first thing that comes to mind is probably just make it bigger, right? But no, because as you zoom in to that photo, you notice that the bigger you make this head, the more pixelated, the more blurry, so to speak, or the less crispy the photo is going to be. So what you actually want to do is make the background smaller. So you take this background here, you copy it by dragging it down, boop, and then you press command T to transform and now you can make it as small as you want to and then line it up and just see how it looks to you. So say I want to do it that big, great. So now I come in here, take my crop tool by pressing C on my keyboard, bam, and now it's going to just crop to the size I want it, bam. Bam, and that is your new image. And now all you gotta do is pick how you want it to look. So now that I'm in here, where do I want it to land? Where's it gonna blend into my skin the best? You see right here, I have this little bit of line here where you see that brown. So I want that brown to match it with the brown on my neck. Now what you also can do, right, is go back, get your eraser by pressing E, and then just kind of touch it up, right? Maybe you wanna make the lines a little cleaner, which I suggest you do if you really want to pull this off the right way. And that's basically how I did it, y'all. Okay, now let's talk about this app. The app that I found for y'all on iOS is called Baz Art. And apparently, you can do everything on this app you can do on Photoshop. Take out backgrounds, edit stuff, add shadows, apparently motion and all that. But I'm just using this app for the cutting out and the making the head bigger thing that I just did here on my laptop. So when you open the app, go to Projects, hit that plus button, find the photos you want. And the photo I'm picking is the one that we use for the edit. Bada bing, bada boom. And then you wanna go to edit, come on over to this thing called cut out. And now we can start cutting out our head. So I'm gonna zoom in here 
And literally what you do, I'm not gonna do it all careful because it takes a lot of time, but what you wanna do is get in here, start tracing with your finger. You see what I'm doing here? You can step back some, pinch to zoom, trace, 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 trace. Come around again, press apply, and now you have a head there that you can do whatever you want with, obviously, right? You can make it larger, smaller, whatever. And now what you wanna do is add a photo. You go back to that same photo you had before, whatever the same one you're using at the moment, add it back in there, and now you put the head over the photo. So now the photo, I'm gonna put it right here, full screen, go to canvas, layers, and now put the layer of the photo, or the head rather, how do I switch these? Oh, hold your finger down on it. Hold your finger down, pull it back, and now you put the layer of the photo behind the head. Now you paint the head as big or small as you want. Yo, that's basically the basic premise of the app. It's really, really simple. You can practice with it until you get it, and then you save it, and that's it. So obviously do a more careful job than me, but it's a really simple app to use, and if you do it right and take your time, it'll come out dope, but obviously I prefer to use Photoshop. That's just my thing. And then also I have an Android app too called Real Big Camera Editor. I will go ahead and link it down below, but it does the same thing. You can cut out stuff, right? You can make it larger and large things. I have a dog here as an example, but obviously just do your head, and you'll be fine, and that's it. So yeah, if y'all enjoyed this video, if you really liked it, if it was helpful, for you make sure you leave a thumbs up for your guy any more questions for me anything to follow up let me know i will link everything down below as far as the apps go and if this happens to be your first time on this channel i'm devin on deck i talk about fashion and tech and here you get the best of both worlds so you're going to see more videos like this how to be more successful on social media how to create better content but also like pure fashion talk and also like grooming confidence all that good stuff so if that sounds good to you hit that subscribe button hit that bell icon and i will see you in every everyone else on the next one. Peace.